So, hey guys, I'm back, and uh, I'm going to do a little update on my mowers at my dad's. So, got Big Red here. Now, I should have videoed it when I did it, which I couldn't really. Um, Big Red had a big steering issue. Um, kind of, it wasn't too, too bad to fix. Um, so, you guys know how I said I was going to make a decision between taking the parts off the other mower I got the same one as big red or not but i did because this it's like its own little steering box um like it's just gears but um as you can see it, it's hard to do with one hand but it spins gears which the steering wheel is down it's it's hard to explain but uh steering stops steering stop was right here and here you can see bolt snapped off um, one of them snapped off on the new one I got, but, uh, at least I still got one, the steering stops, but, that's not the problem, this was the problem, this is supposed to be flat, completely flat down, and I kept just bending it back and it was working, but it started cracking, it just bends easier and easier, so, I ended up replacing it. Now, if you come back over here, as you can see, you got big red here. Actually, just cleaned out the ammo box. Um, the belt, I have, well, as you can see now, she steers good. Got steering all the way. It's nice and easy. I do got to grease. I got to get some grease. I'm out of grease, but, and grease the fitting. That's down there on that. Um, but, uh, I got to do an oil change on this. Um, the only thing this, it needs pulley, at least one pulley underneath. One pulley's complete shot. With no bearings. They're so ride, but. The belt's gonna keep, just keep popping off like it's doing. Um, it only popped off one so far, but the bearing, there's no bearings left inside of it, so it, it's just shot. But um, I should be able to just take them off. The other mower I got at my mom's, same as this one. Um, also, the one I got at my mom's is very nice condition because I got this little, there's a little cover here that shows everything. I'm gonna put that on here. Um, new switches. Now, this one, right, it's either this one or this one. I think it's this one locks the rear end for both tires spin. So, I want to figure out the wiring for that because I would be able to lock my rear end from my dash and both tires would spin. So, I want to figure that out. These mud tires are doing pretty well. Um, also, I got a hood for it. Um, that came with that other mower too. Same thing as, I used to have a hood for this, but it's, it was the exact problem with this. This front piece was broken and the mounts, those little circle things were snapped. But a tree fell on the, sh our carport, the other one, not that one, but the other one, and fell, cracked the hood straight in half, literally. Um, so, that broke. But I got this one, I'm gonna take a piece of wood. I gotta get a nut and a bolt and washers, I'm gonna take a piece of wood right straight there right across and then two on the sides and drill holes like it like it's original thing because it just goes in there and we should be good i gotta make and you see i used to have a hood pin but off to the side here but with the other hood but it broke but um yeah troy belt bowlings that's what this is bowlings this need also this needs a solenoid um planning on completely redoing the wire putting a push start in and a toggle kill switch probably um so That'll be a video here soon, I'm sure. Um, but this motor's doing good. Um, <laughs> I had the carburetor half underwater. Oh, yeah. Watery oil. Like always. Um, gotta love it. Um, I, she didn't shut, cut off underwater, but she was definitely taking in water because... Um, well, I know that because uh, my carb was half... The bowl was underwater, and it was underwater, and then the rest was just splashing up, so it's sucking. It's not going to suck in from back there, but it's going to suck in through where the air filter is, so... It had to have sucked it in. I know... It must have. Um, I mean, it had... There ain't no way it didn't. I mean, the water line was, like, up to here. So... And the air filter was soaked above this. The air filter comes up into here, and it was soaked, like, a little below the right at like the top of the carburetor so yeah um this thing um i i can start it up for you guys it's not in the greatest shape right now um but i'll start it up for you guys 
says you guys haven't seen it on this in a while, so I'll try starting her up quick. I had to bring a battery over from my mom's because I took the battery out of it and put it into this because this thing has got rear end issues right now. So, yeah. But I'll try starting it. Almost. Almost. Give it one more shot. It might have, I think it leaked all of its gas out. It's got a gas leak, but uh, yeah, I gotta fix the gas leak on this thing too. It's got a gas leak right where it comes out of the gas tank. I know where it is, it shouldn't be too bad to fix, but uh, I just gotta split it in there. And then this thing, we can do a quick cold start on this. Try to at least. I know everything's got a battery over here. It's nice. Huh, my freaking light thing broke. That sucks. But uh, I'm gonna glue it back on and look. Actually, I'm gonna do that today. But uh, let's try starting this. You'll run it, and as soon as it gets hot, it won't. You, if it shuts off, it won't um, start back up. As you can see, it's running bad. That's because it's not getting enough spark. But um, yeah, that side's got a flat tire. But all you gotta do is put it, put air in it. Tire holds air for like a day. But this thing, I just changed the rear end fluid on it yesterday. So we're gonna see if she drives today. I gotta fix that gas line i don't know how i'm gonna fix it because gas line goes from the back to the front so i'm not gonna replace all the gas line because the other gas line is fine it's just got to split in it because something caught on it but um i gotta get a connector but um i might just insert a fuel filter because that would work so yeah but um yeah big red's pretty much good to go just need a pulley and a solenoid but it still starts and dries i was actually just driving it but um this thing who knows motor runs um that needs an oil change. This needs an oil change. That needs an oil change. That has water in the oil. This has water in the oil. That one don't. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, everything's going good. But John Deere at the moment. Well, at the moment, they all move. Just not right. Like, that one moves good. That one moves good. But that one needs a coil. That one needs a solenoid and a pulley. And this one needs for end. Well, needs gas line and who knows if that rear end is going to be fixable or not so yeah i'm just going to ch keep changing the rear end fluid on that and hopefully it fixes itself but uh yeah it's the end of the video so yeah peace